If you'd like to book a personal reading, all the information is listed below in the description box. Thanks for watching. Hi loves, welcome back to the channel. We're going to do a collective reading. Let's see what comes out. This is going to be more of a love-based reading, so go ahead and stick around. Like the video and subscribe if you find it resonates. Drop a comment to help me grow and be able to get that algorithm right. So let's see what we've got. Wow, it definitely looks like you've recently let go of someone. You weren't supposed to let go of this person though. You could have just been really fed up with the treatment that they gave you in the connection, feeling like they constantly weren't valuing you. Could have been an air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. But yeah, look at you weren't supposed to walk away from them. This person didn't see the real you though. They saw this like outdated belief or version of who you used to be. So this could be someone you've known for quite a long time. Someone you could have dated in the past. For others of you, someone you've known like since childhood or like high school, growing up times. And you and this person never really had a relationship for others of you. But judgments here, it's like their eyes have been wide open now to who you've always been. That's what their angels keep trying to show them. Like the fact is you've always had this ability to be the person that you are now below the surface. But you were always surrounded by people pleasers. You're always surrounded by people that expected you to people please rather I would say. And like you were always surrounded by people who tried to dim you. They didn't want the real you to come out. So if you were someone who was always connected with spirituality beliefs, you were surrounded by a lot of energies growing up that didn't believe in spirituality or didn't have similar beliefs. Could have even been family. Definitely past lovers and friends. Five of Cups in reverse. So in the past growing up too, you could have been someone who always looked at yourself as not fully able to achieve what you wanted to in your life. Like you could have had a dream to always want to be a model or be a musician or be a veterinarian and something like this that you felt like you could never achieve. Now you could have realized mid life that, you know, anything is possible. And if not, this reading is meant to teach you that like you can be anything you want to be. Wow. As if as I'm shuffling and drop that music. So some of you really have always wanted to be musicians. And you never gave yourself that chance because you thought you didn't have what it takes or other people dimmed your light to make you feel like you didn't think you had what it takes. And so as you're coming into this like older years of your life, I feel like some of you could be in your late 20s or your late 30s. You have come to realize that it was only you that was ever holding yourself back and the environment you were in. You know, it's like flowers need sunlight in order to grow. So forever, you could have been really like tucked away in the shade um, or be made shaded to feel like you don't have what it takes to blossom into a creative type, a musician, a model, a doctor for others of you, a lawyer, something that you've always wanted to do. So now you could be realizing that it doesn't matter who thinks what you can or can't do as long as you're following your heart. And you put in that hard work, of course, success will follow. Now, specifically, though, I feel like it's something that most people do from a young age onwards. So this is why you feel like you kind of messed yourself up in the past. Could have even wanted to be an actor, an actress, and feeling like you should have been doing that from when you were in your teenage years or in your early 20s. And now you could be 40, like, oh, like, are you able to still do this? Absolutely. It's really all about you know, divine timing and the universe realizing that you are putting in the work necessary to achieve these goals and visions. So never sell yourself short, y'all. This reading is really showing that you in the past believed you couldn't be. And now it's like you're realizing you can be whatever you want to be. And you're leaving that whole blocked idea that you can't be more. Judgments here as well, because a lot of people around you are facing an awakening into realizing that they could have been part of the toxic people that held you back in the past, limiting belief systems, people, you know, that never followed through with their dreams or felt like they could have their dreams. So they tried to block you from having yours as well. I feel like you were surrounded by a lot of people growing up, whether this was friends, family members, 
past relationships you dated that a lot of them gave up on their dreams at an early age, too early. And so what happened was when you started chasing yours, if this is something you're doing now, people are looking at you differently. People are looking at you sideways. I'm just going to put that out there. Some people don't see it for you. Other people are so inspired by your drive. But the one thing that they all have in common, they're all watching you. So you guys need to realize that it's really all about keep moving forward because you have what it takes to really step into your new life, your new life purpose. Some of you guys, it really has to do with dropping music. So congrats. If you guys know that you've had an amazing voice since you were a child or you've had a skill to play guitar, violin, piano, since you were a child, I'm hearing, but you never fully progressed forward. You never took lessons. You never had people that supported you around you for it. You could have been someone who was just like a shower singer, right? Or you played guitar, but it was just in your spare time. You never put it out in the public for that recognition. This is your time, babes. It's your time to realize that you're literally the only one holding yourselves back. And the rest of the people that were non-believers... That's always what happens. It's a test of spirituality too. It's a test of faith and a test of how badly do you want it? The universe divine wants to see, even if everyone is opposing to you doing this, are you going to still follow your dream and not give up? Because those are the people that deserve it, right? That don't care about the naysayers. And look at you're not for everyone's in reverse. So for a long time, you could have felt like you needed to belong to what everyone wanted you to be. But because it's in reverse now, you need to come to that acceptance that you're not going to be everyone's taste, right? You're not going to be everyone's flavor of music or model or actor, actress. But it's all about embracing that uniqueness that you have and facing it head on. And so some of you guys, like I said, even if you're middle aged now or you're in your late 20s, you feel like those windows are passing. It is not to say that you don't have opportunities coming in for you. It's all about you just being fearless in your efforts to keep moving forward. And you're going to see that the universe is going to like grant you and bless you with miracles when you decide to do so. So the CM and Taka, look at that. Seeing potential, bringing unconscious to light. Maybe recently some of you guys have had this realization that wait a minute, those dreams you have aren't so far-fetched. You could find all of a sudden you're receiving opportunities or you're just meeting the right people at the right time that encourage you to move forward. And it's like whatever's happening in your life, trust that it is being guided by your spirit team, by your loved ones, your passed on ancestors, and they really want to see you go through this activation. So you guys are going through a sponta spontaneous awakening. It's time for things to fully integrate and come into one in your life. So, you know feeling like your dreams and hopes weren't possible maybe last year, but all of a sudden by the end of this year, I'm telling you, before 2023, first of all, make a vision board. If y'all don't have one, best way to manifest. We also have the blood moon coming up on Tuesday, and so it's going to be the only blood moon ritual or spiritual enlightenment, you know, always use it for the positive, not the negative but this is the only one coming up until 2025. So make sure you guys really aren't afraid to put yourselves out there and to manifest your true hopes and desires with the universe. So because this energy is coming in on the 25th, y'all, it's the perfect time to make a vision board. And even if you have one, it's the perfect time to update the vision board. Look back. If you made one a year or two years ago, you're going to notice at least a few of those goals you set for yourself have been reached. And astonishingly enough, for you to move forward, you're going to either have to make a new one or implement one altogether. But I'm being guided to tell you that now is the time to accept this awakening and realize that like you can look back a year from now and realize how much you've actually grown into places you've never thought you'd be able to before. So empathic starseed, you could definitely be someone who absorbs energy that's not yours. So if you have any doubts or fears or procrastinations when it comes to these dreams in particular, take a step back from the people around you that you know never follow your dreams. You know, the ones that are kind of in your ear telling you 
you need to work a Monday nine to five job or you need to go back to school. Um, this dream isn't possible. All of that, because once you do, that really opens up your imagination and allows for the energy to clear within you for you to be able to stop feeling the fears and projections of other people, you guys, and really just step into your knowing of where you're meant to go. So one more message, messenger, beautiful. So I may be the messenger for y'all delivering this, or you're literally going to meet someone who's going to bring more harmony and balance in your life. And possibly this person is just going to inspire you and encourage you to realize that your dreams are not so far-fetched or so far away. I'm hearing too, there are a lot of people from your past, you know, high school, childhood, um, friends or lovers you dated in the past and had decent endings with. I'm not saying go after that bitter ex because they might not support, but other people that have known you for a long time and do have good intentions for you. These people are all your supporters. So maybe you've disconnected from a lot of people like that based on other people's projections onto you. Realize that, you know, there's some people that you should reach back out to. They're going to either have connections to help guide you forward or for others of you, they're just going to uplift you and give you that confidence and knowing like, wow, you know, someone looking from the outside in from when they've known you from this time to this time now, they're going to be able to compliment you and recognize how much you've grown and changed. And almost like you guys have done a 180, what seems to be to everyone else overnight into your dream path, but you know that it's taken a lot of hard work, dedication, and continuous efforts when no one else believed in you to get there. So it is time for you to keep going, keep focusing on what truly makes you shine, and just know that you're destined for great things in this lifetime, no matter what your dreams are. Never stop believing that you can't achieve them because... The moment you do, that's when the energy goes stagnant. So the longer you keep in the momentum of knowing, if you keep working hard towards this vision you have in mind, and you keep deciding to go against the grain in a sense, not care about what someone negative could have to say about you, keep following your dreams, keep following your heart, I promise you, you're going to see such a big change within yourself, your confidence, your life, and your life path. Your dreams aren't going to seem so far away by this time next year. Quote me to that, loves, as long as you guys put the work in and are willing to manifest the changes. So thank you for watching. I really send you all a beautiful, blessed journey with this new dream idea that you have. Could either be music, actor, or acting. And you know, it's like you have people that love you around you that feel kind of blocked out. I just saw, please stop ignoring me. So some people want to be a part of this new journey. Don't be afraid to let them in, receive the good and the negative criticism and only absorb what is yours to move forward with. Don't hold on to any negativity. Have a good day, you guys.